though what's going on toxic gamers so just the other day we had phil spencer drop in a sar bomba on the asses of xbox fanboys that made the sony ponies do helicopters with their rollies and the sony ponies went in gang gang ride and everybody's like going crazy and we had that disaster but today we got another disaster to talk about like the video if you just want free online may dislike the video if you love paying for online on playstation and xbox because as a brown man I demand for our young generation, I demand for our next generation to be able to play PlayStation games and Xbox games free of charge. I demand that, I demand that, and this should be effective immediately. We all deserve free to play online on PlayStation and Xbox. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree, but uh, today we got another disaster, like I said, so we're gonna get right into the story. We also got the homie PlayStation cast, or my bad, Dreamcast guy as well, right? Yeah. But check this out. So the homie Phil Spencer came out, okay, after dropping the Star Bomba, he was feeling kind of cute, okay? So he dropped a Star Bomba on the asses of Xbox fanboys, and uh, today he came out and he said this, okay? And I quote, I think for us fans and players of games, we just have to anticipate there's going to be more change in how some of the more traditional ways that games were built and distributed. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So that would happen, so I started dropping memes and uh, all that. Did I say for? I mean, more. Oh, shit. And, and you know what? Quickly after, like, homie started looking like this right now. And oh, a lot of people just cannot believe it, man. A lot of people say that. But you said it's going to be just four games, Phil. You just said that it's going to be four games. Now, here's the thing, though. Microsoft from this move is going to be making a ton of money, right? They're going to be making a ton of money. Let, let's not even mistake about it, right? But if some fans are apparently really really mad about it like i'm seeing a lot of people being mad about it i'm like bro like if you like xbox then why be mad bro why be mad like you got your console but i do get it though i do understand that the the y factor of getting an xbox now is reducing of course it is reducing right and this might affect the normies as well for example you go outside and you see playstation 5 xbox same price uh, and you know that xbox games are gonna be coming on playstation right like why buy an xbox right why buy an xbox i guess for now it's just a game pass thing but there's also a lot of hate about xbox, uh, xbox game pass because uh, a lot of the games are aren't that good on it it's what people saying but wait for it let's see what's up gamers drew guy here and today we're talking about the death of xbox because a lot of the biggest xbox fans xbox youtubers podcasters collectors it feels like everybody is incredibly pissed specifically <laughs> at phil spencer and claiming xbox yeah. locked and i want to discuss their anger their vitriol and, and kind of why <laughs> i mean tough love man like these corporation always lie they, they always lie man I, and i'm saying the same for playstation in before like a, uh an xbox fanboy yeah, 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 yeah. we always i mean we always cover the news for playstation as well damn it whenever they f up we covered the news for them too but but let's not let's not make any mistake guys we, we gotta unite together okay i'm just saying gamers gotta come together as one man gamers gotta come together as one bro like these corporations lie they don't care about us bro they really don't care about us the second gamers realize that we're gonna magically gonna start seeing better games better services okay as soon as gamers unite man and demand for better from both playstation and xbox we're gonna get better stuff man we're gonna get better stuff you know whenever crap like that goes down people are always like uh going on hey man so playstation didn't do that oh playstation did that therefore xbox should do that or xbox didn't do that xbox need to do that or at least at least xbox didn't do that at least playstation didn't do that so sony sony ponies and xbox andy's are always uh, doing that crap guys simply put we gotta come together as one we gotta demand for free to play online may and we, we just gotta come together bruh we gotta come together bruh to be honest this has been obvious for years i have been making videos about the downfall of xbox for like five years because i never made this from a place of gloating or some sort of like you know yay i'm glad they're failing it's that this has been, unfortunately, incredibly obvious. Even as thousands of people told me I'm wrong, Xbox will exist forever, I think we all realized that they have not been running a profitable business, and it was never going to work. But let me break down their anger. Let's take a look at a lot of uh, very angry tweets from Xbox fans. And, and why I feel like this is, this is the love end. Love it, love it, I love it. I hope you're having a great day. And thank you. <laughs> Yo, don't give me that wool squash, man. A lot of people not having a good day, man. Like, what you say, man? Like, you just said that a lot of angry fans, man. So, they're probably not having a good day, man. Damn, man. Why are you trying to add, uh, why are you trying to pour salt on their wounds like that, man? Damn, homie. 
could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So last night, they announced that Indiana Jones specifically is coming to the PlayStation 5, and a lot of Xbox podcasts, a lot of uh, the biggest fans uh, are definitely not pleased about it. These are these are perfect people I've personally talked to. They're nice people. I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying that there are a lot of people that are saying, okay, the <laughs> Xbox brand is finished. Colt Eastwood here, uh, got to be one of the biggest Xbox fanboys I've ever known, and, and I mean that respectfully. Yeah! The hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Papi, chill. Papi, chill. He definitely loves the brand. He loves the games. Unfortunately, biggest fingers crossed behind the back moment just six months ago. Lol. I hope uh, or hope PlayStation fans have drem drama mind ready <laughs> for first person gameplay. Oh my god, bro. They are yeah. Phil Spencer. Those of you that do not know, Phil Spencer did say Starfield and Indiana Jones is not gonna come. Are not gonna come on PlayStation. And apparently today they are coming. <laughs> <laughs> At least Indiana Jones. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if Halo and Starfield comes out on PlayStation later on. Guys, these corporations don't care about us, man. They don't give a damn. These suckers just want want to make money. They just want to make money, bro. Simple as that. Money talks, bull squash walks. They're realizing that the sky is blue, and, uh, and the, the the main thing they're realizing is that we consumers, we gamers, are. We have stopped buying the idea of that the sky is green, okay? That's what they're trying to sell us, right? That's what they're trying to sell us. That's what they have been sell trying to sell us with the entire woke crap that is going down, right? Like in video games, for example, this Just Born, I made the video le uh, yesterday, and the situation is so wild, and it has been wilder than Johnny Sins movies, bruh. Like, so you got Monkey Game, right? Black Myth Wukong, 2.3 million people playing that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's the peak. I mean, there are more people playing than just 2.3 million, but that was the peak moment of one point when 2.3 million people together were playing the game, right? It's insane, man. It is insane. And games like Dustborn, you know, this the, the wokest game ever. That's what they're calling it. This is for the modern audience. Modern audience. 83 people was the peak, bro. 83 people was the peak. <laughs> yeah, so gamers have stopped buying the idea of sky is green v because it's blue, damn it! It's not green, bruh! It's not green, bruh! So, we, yeah, a lot of gamers are coming together as one in that aspect. We deserve better, man. Like, come on, man. I, I miss me with that. Acolyte, they had to shut that down. They had to cancel it. Why? Because they weren't making money, man. They weren't making money from the modern audience. They weren't making money from that, right? So, th that's it. Xbox is also realizing that with just by keeping games on Xbox, they're not making enough money. PlayStation also did realize that. It's about pleasing the investors. It's about making more money, more money, and more money so they can boast that to their, their shareholders. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about none of us, bruh. They don't care about us. So they, that's, that's why PlayStation chose to put their games on PC, although that's not day one. Uh, for Xbox uh, and PC, it's day one, but Xbox is also gonna put on PlayStation, that's not day one. And so far, PlayStation is not putting their games on Xbox. I'm not sure if they're gonna do it, I don't think they're gonna do it, because uh, Microsoft is big, it's humongous in comparison to Sony, right? Sony's big too, but like, Microsoft, there's no competition, man. Microsoft is a, a, a big, okay? Xbox is small. It's a smaller division in comparison to PlayStation. PlayStation is uh, two times, more than two times bigger than Xbox in terms of like the units sold and of course uh, Sony makes a lot of their money from, from PlayStation. On the other hand, Microsoft don't make that much money from Xbox. They make money from the Windows, right? Their other services, the AI and all that crap, like the cloud services too maybe perhaps, but Windows that's like their bread and butter. Uh, and other services as well, right? So Microsoft is like a software company. Uh, they have a lot of services, man. Microsoft is a juggernaut of a, of a company. They don't, they, they can afford to lose money, but nobody want to lose money. And that is the reason why they're putting their games on Xbox. Now, if you're somebody that already have an Xbox, right? You're used to it. You're used to the controller. You like the, the controller. You like the platform then you shouldn't necessarily worry, worry about it. Unless you're like 12 years old, 14 years old. No disrespect though, this is not me trying to be like, hey, gotcha moment or anything. No, 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 it's not that. Because when I was uh, uh, 12 years old, 14 years old, I feel like that I also did uh, uh, do console wars and crap like that. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, when you're at that age, it's fine though, right? Life is simple, man. It's, it's fine too. Uh, and generally speaking, even if you're 30, 50 years old, uh, memeing around is fine. Banter is fine though. Banter is fine. Like console war memes are fine though. But when it gets so serious to the point where 
people take it as in like you're insulting their mothers i mean like damn what are we talking about it's just plastics guys like these companies don't even give a damn about us right my point is that yes it's gonna reduce the wi-fi y factor of getting an xbox or let's just say a normie but if you're a hardcore fan this shouldn't change much unless the game's quality go down even more already the game's quality is bad right so we should be talking about that more than all this crap though right but but still like the game it's not like indiana jones is coming out day one on playstation right if it was coming out on day one on playstation then yeah maybe one day they're gonna do that i don't know because uh, phil spencer is like gaming for everyone he's always flip-flopping uh, but but if you're a hardcore fan and who cares right you like xbox you you like xbox you like playstation you like playstation you like playstation you like both hey that's even better that's even better you're on pc that's amazing man that's amazing but uh oh there was a quote where exactly six months ago phil spencer on camera directly said we're going to bring a couple of our older games just as an experiment we're going to bring them to playstation this ended up being high by rush grounded pentiment sea of thieves they were just tinier games that were much more old school and said okay let's just try it out any specific and, and i think they made a lot of money it's like the shark when it tastes the blood for the first time it goes crazy it goes crazy it goes crazy right tigers uh, smells blood he's like nah man i need all that protein for me man it, it, it's one of those things right so this is all money money coming in like tsunami and they're realizing bro acolyte tv show they had to shut down because no modern audience right why they were losing money man they were losing money man and xbox is like hey we need to make money or microsoft rather they're like we need to make money man we need to make money i wouldn't be shocked if like five years from now ten years from now we start seeing games like spider-man and crap like that god of war on xbox too oh, shit. yeah oh, shit. yeah you know yeah they, these things want to make money man but it's probably not gonna be day one day one though right maybe a year after some crap like that right i can see that i can see that man i can see that typically said the words this will not be starfield and it's not indiana jones it's tinier stuff so a lot of people are like okay he lied i mean he just straight up lied so now people are bringing up a ton of quotes from the biggest xbox journalists and stuff where they kept saying no xbox is not porting its games to playstation it's hopium for fanboys obviously uh jez corden uh the biggest xbox leaker of all time uh he was wrong everybody was wrong i mean the, wrong. the biggest thing is that i've been reporting on this now for so long because the whole experiment of xbox has been the game pass push they have consoles they have games but the idea was always like trying to be netflix but as video games get more expensive it now costs hundreds of millions of dollars to actually make stuff i mean they spent playstation spent 300 million dollars just making spider-man 2 and i like that game but man 300 million dollars is a ridiculous amount of money so the idea of games getting man y'all sickers could have given that much money to your fan base bro like <laughs> like damn damn what are we talking about man like the video if you agree like the video if you deserve that 300 million man what are we talking about what are we talking about what are we talking about man we deserve that man they should have like distributed that money to the gamers man to the the the, the people that have had uh, playstation let me check uh i've had playstation for 10 plus years yeah so that's what i'm saying right like they should have distributed that much money to people that had playstation for 10 plus years damn it Bruh. you know what i'm saying no, I'm saying should have been that. Should have been that. What the hell, PlayStation? Like 300 million on that Spider-Man game? Damn, it was decent, but not 300 million like decent, bro. Cheaper. I like the idea of games being sold for the lowest cost possible, but Game Pass. It was never going to work. Game Pass, the idea of going, okay, the lowest price to get the most games, of just, hey, pay for your Netflix subscription and you'll get the most possible games, it was never actually going to work out. It's been painfully obvious. But today, Phil Spencer, just about 20 minutes ago, went on stage at Games Comedy, did a long interview, and his statement is kind of rambly, but he essentially said this. Clio Brow sort of transcribed it. My guy always ready to drop a bad news video for Xbox. <laughs> Yeah, 20 minutes ago. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, man. Phil Spencer on Indiana Jones coming to the PlayStation 5. We run a business that's definitely true inside of Microsoft. The bar is high for us in terms of delivery. We have to give back to the company because we get a lot of support and what we're able to do. So you can pretty much tell that what he's saying is what I've been reporting on now for years, which is the fact that the money is running out. That Xbox has always been a tiny for funsies project of Microsoft. If you look at the financials, if you look at the market cap and stuff like that, real nerdy numbers, there is trillions of dollars of Microsoft money, but a lot of that just comes from Windows, from Word, from their other licensing stuff. Mm. The idea of Xbox has always been, okay, how can we make some extra for funsy stuff? Let's make some hardware just for the entertainment to ourselves. But now that games are getting so expensive, Microsoft is starting to say, okay, why are you making zero dollars? 
Why are we licensing Indiana Jones? Why are we working with Lucas Films? Why are we spending? I mean, at least they're making two pennies, bro. Like they're not making like just zero dollars. They're making some pennies on the side, bro. Like damn, man, damn, damn, bro. But but no, I get it. Like th th that's why th that's why they, oh, 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 oh. that's why they're trying to put games on PlayStation, right? They they it, it's the need for making more money, man. It's the need to uh to uh justify, yeah, justify why. Why are we <laughs> not making more money, man? When we can, when we can. That's uh, that's where we at. That's where we at. Huge chunks, like billions of dollars, with a lot of their acquisitions and stuff, and making no money back. Now, a lot of the replies, people are pissed. Uh, a lot of the biggest Xbox YouTubers, this guy, guys, uh, I think this guy kind of hates me. No offense to him. Uh, Septic Sauce is a great Twitter handle, by the way. <laughs> uh, he has been talking about the fact that honestly, PlayStation is completely ripping them apart. Guys has been saying, Phil Spencer realizing the marketing budget is now going to increase tenfold as Xbox fans evangelize the brand, reduces to single figures. Yeah, the Xbox budget is about to completely dry up. Xbox fans, they fooled us. Now the question remains, will you continue to fall victim to their lies? <laughs> Uh, maybe it's not that serious, buddy. And no, that doesn't mean you need to switch to PlayStation to become another victim. Join the resistance. Now, I scroll through it. I, I can't tell if he's saying it's Bruh. time to go PC. I, I feel like a lot of people are starting to go PC. I have been gaming more on PC this year yeah. than I ever have in my life. The last couple of years, I've been gaming more on I, I have a good PC, too. I feel like just going PC. But I'm still a console peasant at the heart, right? Man, like, yeah, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. Like, PlayStation and Xbox, like, the bo I I'm, I'm just saying from the perspective of... Uh, the reason why I'm saying pathetic is because of games, lack of games. That's where I'm at, though. I, I feel like that we... Yeah, absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Our generation, future generation, they deserve free-to-play online. Bruh. <laughs> we deserve it. We deserve it for both PlayStation and Xbox, man. These suckers need to make online for free, bro. These suckers need to make online for free, bruh. Like, damn, homie. Damn, man. What are we talking about, man? And we deserve better games. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm mostly mad about, man. That's what I'm mostly uh, talking about, man. Like, games, Xbox games coming out, like, almost a year later on PlayStation now. Who cares? Who cares? That's That means that more people are going to be able to play. Uh, same would be true if uh, PlayStation drops a, 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 a Spider-Man on and God of War on Xbox. But of course, make no mistake though, like if they do that, there would be drama and I'll be ready to cover that too, man. I would, I love that sauce, okay? I love that sauce. It, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really good, okay? If they do that, man, that would be, that would start another, another WW5, man. I know people who are gonna be looking like this, but, uh, but, uh, but I wanna see that, man. I wanna see that, I wanna see that. But, but of course, like people are mostly calling out the, the, the fact that Phil lied about it. I mean, tough love, man. These companies lie. What are you gonna do about it? So what? So what, I write, I write on PC. I feel like this channel kind of blew up because I do like PlayStation exclusives like Spider-Man, God of War, Gran Turismo even actually kind of blows my mind. But I feel like PC gaming, obviously, once you get over the hurdle of kind of learning it, like I know people that only game on PC, it's really easy to y'all, but I feel like there is a learning curve because when it comes to consoles, the fact that I can just plug in a controller, instantly play a game, it auto syncs, it auto updates, it automatically works on my TV, there is a learning curve. I know people would say yeah. there's not, but I feel like it's a difficult at first to learn about drivers and updates and compatibility and graphics cards. But once you get past that hurdle, obviously PC gaming looks the best. A lot of times PC gaming is cheaper. I, I personally a big fan of mods. I think mods are incredibly freaking crazy cool. So a lot of people are starting to say it is weird to think about. Yeah, to be honest though, like I would have disagreed with him when he said uh pc gaming is cheaper uh, it, it, i still kind of disagree but see kind of disagree with it B because when you really think about it console is like what 500 dollars, and of course you gotta pay monthly or yearly for the subscriptions and all that on at least on play, uh, pc you don't have to and a pc is a pc it's not just about video games on pc you, you can literally do everything right there's that aspect uh, um, for me personally though like if i want a good pc now if i see that there's for example right if i see that there's rtx 5090 out there and there's rtx 6090 out there and there's like a diff of course there's gonna be price difference right for the type of person that i am i would be like hey i don't want rtx 5090 i want rtx 6090 do i have to save more money for that okay yes i need to save more money for that therefore i'll wait a couple of extra months or whatever time needed for uh, for me to save up that much money and buy that right the, I, I don't know if like a lot of people are like that too or not maybe that's what also stops people from uh you know making their pcs and whatnot uh, uh, yeah maybe that's a factor maybe maybe that's a factor too right and, and also let's not make any mistakes bro like console easier to jump on and it's like 500 dollars versus pc i mean pc is not you're not gonna get that good of a pc uh, almost almost similar specs at 500 dollars right 
Uh, I'm talking when PlayStation 5 was brand new, it was the equivalent of RTX uh, 2080 is what they were saying. And apparently RTX uh, Ti for 2080 Ti for Xbox Series X all the way back in, when it came out in 2020. Now, back in 2020, if you wanted like a PC with almost similar specs, there's no way it was going to be for $500. It's going to be way more expensive than that, right? So yeah, it's not cheaper, but in the long run, yes, PC, you're going to be able to do a lot more stuff on PC. Plus, you don't have to pay yearly, so over time, you're, you're not necessarily paying that much unless you're also trying to upgrade your PC regularly. Then, yes, you're going to be paying a lot of money. I'm a console peasant at heart, though. That That's what sucks about this one. I wish I was more like my, my, the, the, the homies out there. Maybe some of you guys are PC masters. I, I wish I was like you guys. I, I have RTX 3090. I got a good PC. Not trying to flex. I have a good PC. I do play flight simulator on it, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. About the death of Xbox, because this is it. Like, maybe we'll see a couple more games that exist for a short while on Xbox before they come to PlayStation. I've been getting a lot of angry tweets of people saying, I own Xbox for Game Pass. I don't care if the better version's on PlayStation. Honestly, feel free to play where you want to play, but I think at this point, the Xbox console is just a Game Pass machine. It is just a way of like, okay, it's a place to play games cheaper. Not better, not cleaner, not cooler, but at least cheaper. It is the budget console, yeah. even though it does also... I, I mean, he's not lying in this one. Now, I mean, yeah, like I was saying, the, the Y factor of getting an Xbox is uh, lowering and lowering. If you're still like, if you like the idea of Game Pass, if you like the idea of Game Pass, then Xbox it is, or you can get uh, always, you can always get Game Pass on PC. Guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, we had the world's wokest game out there that came out. I'm not sure if you saw that video or not, man, but people are not liking it, man. That's an understatement, though. There are, <laughs> there's more than just people not liking it. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We had GTSX gameplay leaks, the heist leaks, and all that. Check it out and I'll see you right there.